Hello everyone. In this tutorial, I want to show you uh, how to create a dirt based glass material uh, using mental ray as a renderer. Uh, the reason I'm using mental ray is because I couldn't find many tutorials uh, using mental ray as a renderer for advanced uh, material effects. And first, let me show you the final result that I got. So this is my final result uh, that uh, I will show you how to create today. Uh, this is my material setup for the final material that we will be creating. Uh, and I am using this texture as a, as a map for the dirt. Uh, all of these files, so my scene file and this texture and any other support files will be, uh, I will provide them, they will be available with the download. Uh, I also want to tell you that this is not uh, a beginner's tutorial, so I won't explain each and everything. I assume that uh, you have some basic knowledge of how materials work in 3D Studio Max and how to work with the, the slate material editor and how to build maps for example okay the scene that I'm using is a very simple scene it just has a glass jar and a plane uh, the lighting is provided by this skylight and I'm using a simple HDRI for lighting okay so let's get started with it first let us create a new view so we can start uh, with a new material let's create a new material right click materials go to mental ray arc and design and apply it to your to your selection and let's just quickly see the results okay so it's just the default material from mental ray arc and design materials So first uh, we need to load our map. So this map uh, will be used for uh, to provide uh, the pattern for the dirt. And this can be a black and white uh, map. Uh, so we right click, we go to maps in general and then bitmap. So we get it here and let's hook it up to our color for now just to check how it looks uh, so we turn off reflectivity and no reflection for now so that we can see how it looks on the bottle so render okay so just to make it a little bit faster uh, for later renders we can do this uh, region and then select a small path so that it doesn't render the whole scene again uh, okay so I need to first uh, color correct the material a little bit so I go to uh, color correction so maps general color correction and then here and what they need to do is that so let's just preview it first so that we can work with it okay so we need to increase the contrast and maybe the brightness bit 
Okay, and then also the contrast, so we get deeper uh, whites and blacks, for instance. Okay, maybe, maybe, okay, it looks okay. So, put it, and now we need a color for our dirt. So we go to maps general and color map a color map so put the color map and uh, the color of the dirt is something like uh, let's see seems Okay, a little bit, maybe, oh, let's see, okay, so, and we need to have another map now, which would be the a mask, so we put our color and the mask for the dirt, and now this will be our color for the bottle. We can preview it here, so see, it's something like this, it's a little too dark maybe, so we need to change something here, no. okay, this looks much better, so in the map, in the color map, I just changed the gain, so I decreased it a little bit so make it lighter and we can also see our uh, final material here how it looks okay let's render it okay it looks it doesn't look so bad now so now we need to put it uh, the black and white color corrected map or let's first change its name so our dirt mask so we can put our dirt mask also to the pump map get some nice bumps and let's go bump is turned on let's just change it to one and so you can see the result here it looks a little bumpy so more realistic let's render it okay it looks a little more like the dirt is now sticking is sticking on to the surface uh, so okay so now we need to add some uh, reflect reflection and refraction to our glass uh, to make it uh, a glass material uh, but we need to uh, map our reflection according to our dirt map uh, so let's first create a map to invert our dirt mask basically so maps general and color correction and our dirt mask is the input to this one okay and let's just invert dirt mask inverted okay so we invert it here and this will act as our mask for uh, reflection and refraction 
okay so let's open our material now first we need to add a reflection and let's add our inverted dust dust mask dirt mask to the reflection color map and to reflection uh, no, reflection color map not here so we clear it for now and to ref oh pff, reflection glossiness and okay and to add the reflection now so that it's reflects so you can see that it is a reflective material now Uh, let's see the results. Okay, doesn't look so bad. We need to add the refraction uh, now and to make it transparent to so that it acts as a glass. Okay, first uh, I want to change the color a little bit. Uh, let's see uh, let's make it a bit lighter no it's too light okay this looks nice and be this one to point three okay uh, let's uh, see the results for a minute okay now to add some add some transparency to it and we need to so reflection to one okay let's see okay so our material looks like like this now let's see the results so the thing is that now uh, the bottle is letting light pass through it just like a glass would do uh, because of the dirt we want to use the dirt map to stop uh, light passing through it at points uh, where the dirt is on the glass and to do that we can uh, we will use again the dirt mask that we created and uh, let's do it okay so okay we don't need to render it completely okay so our inverted mask we need to hook it into our refraction no. first we need to add translucency so translucency is the how much light would it uh, allow to pass through it and we need to control this translucency with our map basically so there is this translucency weight set it to one and but we need to control this weight with our dirt mask so hook your dirt mask into your translucency weight map and now you can see in the material preview that where your dirt is no light is passing through the glass so a bit more realistic so and translucency you can use a different color for translucency but we already have a color so we can just use that color so use your uh, let's first change its name colored dirt mask and hook it into your translucency color map and instantly you see that now the color is changed to your dirt 
Okay, and one last thing is to use your refraction. So there's another property of refraction. So first we could choose 1.5 because the glass has the index of refraction 1.5 and the color for refraction can also be modulated using your dirt mask and so you just uh, hook your dirt mask no you hook your uh, inverted dirt mask into your refraction color map because basically you can see that if you use your color mask into your refraction color map then it reverses the effect that you want actually so now it looks much better so let's uh, render it Okay, so now uh, here you have it, a dirt covered glass using uh, this arc and design material from Mental Ray. Uh, just uh, remember that you, you need to have a dirt mask and using the dirt mask you can create a good a uh, dirt effect. The my scene file and texture that I used are available in download for downloading below.